So, what do we have today? We have this orange wine. I've been really into orange wine lately. I can't even pronounce it though. Orenzista. Where is it from? It looks Eastern European. Slovakia. There you go. And the, way, the reason I got into orange wine is because Carolyn, who's a good friend of ours, um, she got really into it like over the, in the spring. And so she brought over a bottle. And now I've been trying like all different types of orange wines. I tried some the other night with you and it was pretty delicious. It's pretty delicious. It's like a little bit more unfiltered, mm -hmm. right? Like not really as sweet as a rosé, but kind of like a fun thing to have when you don't just want like a white wine. Yeah, it's fresh. I really like it. Yeah, it's fresh. It's like fresh. It. It's fresh. All right. So we're going to do our first ever intro. Wish us luck. All right. things you care about and life as an aging millennial. Aging. Yeah. For being the keyword. Yeah. Aging. Cheers. Cheers. It's not about us anymore. Who is it about? I think they're called Gen Z or... Right. Is, is that what Gen they're Z? called? Yes. So Gen Z, I'm going to get comfy. Um, Gen Z is what up to what age? Like I'm pretty sure that it goes up to like 23 year olds right now. Up to 23, or that's the oldest? 23, I think, is the oldest. Oh, yeah, I think so. They're the ones leading the pack. I'm pretty sure they're like the end, or maybe 24 is the youngest millennial. Oh, I don't really know. I think the years for millennial are 1982. Yes, I do remember that. I was surprised how old it was. To 1994, I want to say. Oh, no. 95. 95, okay. I'm pretty sure it's 82 to 95. Okay. So we are 86. Yeah, so we are so aging right on the aging part. Right on the aging Lovely. Right? Lovely. Yeah. And so we are of the generation that grew up with both not non-computers what oh non-computers yeah. and computers we did both we, we i had we had typing tests or typing classes at Trinity. we had to learn on like big computers how to type i remember this program do you remember that you had to like get the ducks or something like with the yes. typing and do you remember alt 0243 for accent marks that i do not remember <laughs> i remember my accent marks. that i do not still. remember still remember though so we had that in like what, lower school? Mm -hmm. And then when did we get our first phones? And our first phones, by the way, were like in high school. the little phones that Nokia. you had to text by like every every letter you had to push like three times or two times to get exactly. the next letter. That was crazy. That Nobody was wanted to text. That was such a hard time. And like, and I remember that your minutes would could run out. You couldn't use them all the, all the time. And it was, the phones were expensive then. Yeah, but they lasted a really long time. The battery life was great. Yeah, really, like you wouldn't charge for three yeah, days. like you could yeah three days. Three days. It was perfect. And then when did you get your first smartphone? In college, I got a BlackBerry because I was head of social council, and I told my mom I had really important things like T-shirt orders. And stuff. I had so to stay on top. To get I had to stay on top of it. Yeah, I had to stay on top of it. I had a BlackBerry for a little, and then I remember I got my first iPhone like maybe my senior year of college. Mm. I didn't get my first black um, iPhone until well out of college. I didn't want to make the switch. Yeah. yeah. Because of BBM. Mm -hmm. Yes. I didn't want to not be on BBM. Yeah. I know. We had like all these friends on BBM. Move closer? I think so. Are we too far apart? Maybe. All right. Um, <laughs> what do you think about this wine? I like it. I like it too. It's a little acidic in a way that I like, or tart. Maybe it's hard to Yeah, that's the thing. Or. It's like not sweet. It's got a nice sort of bite to it. It's like a little bit funky, mm -hmm. which I kind of love. 
And remember about another thing about being a millennial, everything was geared towards us. Everyone's trying to corner the millennial market. So many articles about us. I think articles are still about us. No, I think it's now gone to like Gen Z. Like there was this article, which one? I'm like, I get the New Yorker, mm -hmm. but maybe it was on New York Times Magazine actually. And the one that comes in the newspaper, not the T Magazine. Oh, okay. And I think it said that like Gen Z, that was literally the headline. Send me that article. Yeah, it was in print. 